Show Pia! Yes, those are the Naughty Boys themselves. The Brilliant Madness are going to be performing their new single for us later on. Yeah. Rowdy audience tonight, Rowdy. Oh, and tonight promises even more craziness because Big Dan Snow is in to tell us all about his ridiculously dangerous hunt for gold. Yes, and it's the Bake Off final tonight, so we're going to meet some brilliant bakers who create buildings out of cake. Nice. What else? And our guests also have a streak of silliness about them. One has recently shared a stage. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Thanks for joining us, by the way. Yes, sex is in, everybody. There you are. So, Madness, you're releasing your 10th yeah. studio album on Friday um, called Can't Touch Us Now. Now, you unveiled it in front of a very special group of fans. Yes. Who were they and did they like it? We, we were trying to think of people who might be slightly older than us, and there's very few of them around. <laughs> so it was the Chelsea Pensioners, yeah. A very interesting and amusing group of people. Yeah, it was a very uh, fun afternoon. So on the whole, they, they quite liked it. Yes. But there was this one woman who, who wasn't quite sure. This is what she said. <laughs> Less than Mr Apple the single. They're very good, but not as good as they used to be. But then, neither am I. That wasn't my favourite. My favourite question was the 93-year-old Ethel who said to me, Suggs, how do you keep your youthful good looks? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. 93-year-old woman. Big funny. And so, you, go on. I was just going to say, this album, I mean, it, you've called it a, a return to your roots because of the way that, that, that it's been created. Is, is that right? Yeah, we decided, you know, there's a lot of technology around in studios these days, and we thought we'd go back to, we went to, back to a very basic studio called Torag, which was a very abzite, uh, and uh, being the Torags that we are. <laughs> <laughs> but it had very limited uh, technology, i.e. no computers or anything. So we just sat around in a room and made music together, which is how we used to make records, and it was mm -hmm. a lot of fun. And is it right that everyone has a say in some way of each track that you do? Yeah, I mean, we've always shared the credits for each song between the people who write them, and the rest of the band get a share of it as well, because if they're playing on the song, they tend to influence it yeah. one way or another. Mm. Yeah. And we, we, we've always shared the song. I mean, all seven of us write songs, so it's a very unusual setup. I think it's called democracy, or that's what they used to call it. I don't know yeah. if it still exists anymore. <laughs> but it's a very complicated issue. Yeah. Seven people. I and mean, we could spend five hours arguing about what trousers we're going to wear, never mind what song we're going to wear. Yeah, sure. And on the album and in the songs, you've got some, you know, you've got mentions on some very colourful characters, one of them being Amy Winehouse. So how then did you, you know, why, what's the significance of Amy Winehouse to Madness? Um, well, um, we sort of knew her because she was uh, f hanging around in Camden Town, you know, the place where we yeah. started out. And I used to see her around in the same pubs that we started out playing in mm. and everyone knows the sort of tragedy of what happened to her at the end but um a little while before she died i bumped into her in soho and uh, she walked past me and she went oh, she said to me all right nutty boy which made me laugh because i'm a 55 year old man and i haven't been called <laughs> a nutty boy since 1979 <laughs> and that sort of stuck in my head um yeah i think uh, Apart from being a great artist, she had a great sense of humour as well. And I thought I'd just write an homage to her, which is called Blackbird, which is on mm -hmm. the album. I hope I've done it, Sun Justice, her, Sun yeah. Justice. I love the way that you start kind of with her rhythms and then bring yours in and the way that the two kind of blend it seems to work. Really Look well. at this musicology over here. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Just saying, I know it. someone do this, it. the sleeve notes for the next album, right? <laughs> 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 he loves a free CD. Well, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> to be honest. I and Susan, you're a big fan as yes. well, aren't you, of, of Madness? Oh, absolutely. When I was at uh, when I was at university, there were it wasn't a party unless you put on the uh, Madness album, and that's when the party really started. Favorite so. album then, Susan? I think I first found Madness. Eve, it was actually the soundtrack to the Tall Guy. It was oh, the yes. first time I'd really heard Madness tracks, oh, yes, and yes. also from my favorite television program ever, which was The Young Ones. Yeah, yes, well, had an amazing yeah. scene in the. Mm. the well, young the young ones, ones was fantastic. Yeah, because you just they, they said, what, you, "What would you like to do?" Like we said we'd like to get a load of police vans and smash them up with sledgehammers. He said, "Fine, <laughs> say fine." <laughs> While singing our house, absolutely, yeah. why not? Yeah, and we've got twenty seconds, and we have to mention your tour because it's happening. 
When, is, when are you starting? Where are you going? We're starting in the UK in uh, the end of November, December time. Lovely. And we're playing all around the UK. Lovely. Do you prefer it now? <laughs> now lots of fantastic places. <laughs> Do you prefer it now <laughs> or back in the day? Um, I think I prefer it now. I mean, you're never going to beat being a teenager. That's the best time of your life. Mm. But, you know, looking at the audiences we still get, I appreciate more the fact that people still dig what we're doing because why should they? You know, yeah. it's a remar remarkable and very privileged position to be in. Harry Hill has been saying very nice things about our single. Calm <laughs> down, Mr. Apple. Yeah. Yeah. How do I do? How do I do? <laughs> great. In a matter of minutes, Silks, you're going to be out yeah, there for hear us, singing live outside. So very okay. much looking forward to that. Now then, um, but now performing Mr. Apples from their new album, it's Madness. <laughs> A well-respected man Woe betide you if you wander from God's plan Square shouldered, straight as a die The righteous truth, they never tell you no lies Oh no Until that old sun go down He's heading off up the wrong side of town His eyes sparkle in the red light glow Treasure pockets ready to go You're gonna do, you're gonna do yourself in I'll tell us where you've been uh. Heard on the table at the road to a club He's never unsure of which shoulders he should rub A scout leader, a pillar of the church Capital punishment, he wants to bring back the birch Of course he does! Cause when that old sun go down He's heading off on the wrong side of town His eyes sparkle in the red light glow His chances pockets ready to go Well calm down Mr. Apples You're gonna do, you're gonna do yourself in Tell us where you've been And oh, wow, oh, oh. <laughs> Calm down, Mr. Apples You're gonna wear, wear yourself out And what's it all about? Oh, you've been a very naughty boy Now. <laughs> 